Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. No, I, I did tell you, even though we had some, some bumps, I told you that, that Taylor and Regis would happen, and I told you that Regis was willing to go to England if, if that's what was called for. You did say that. You, you literally just said that just as I pushed record there, so I'll do my intro and we'll just keep that in. That's yeah, how you yeah, do it. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, this was your MTK Global. I'm in New York with me, I've got Lou DiBella. There you go. Well, you just, before we talk about Heather Hardy, you mentioned Josh Taylor. Yeah. and, the, and um, It's going to be a great fight. I can't, I can't, I can't wait to see it as... as a promoter, as a fan, as a person that loves boxing, I believe it's two of the best fighters in the world, the two best fighters at 140 pounds fighting each other. Um, you know, it, it, it's the correct thing that this tournament's going to finish, and um, it's the correct thing that the best are fighting the best. Did you see the press conference with Derek Chisora? Yeah, you, you, know, you think that Derek, Derek's a, always a ball of laughs. He's a gift that keeps on giving at press conferences. But I, uh, I thought Regis did a pretty good job getting in his grill. Uh, um, he certainly did. Yeah. You know, and and. Uh, and look, it's fine. It's going to be a terrific show. Um, but I think Derek's missing the point of just how many people across the globe want to see these two men fight. Exactly. I said to you out in the hallway there, this is going to be the only But by fight. the way, Chisora Park is a good fight too. It certainly is. But we're the main event. Exactly. exactly. And I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, like I said to you out in the hallway, this is going to be the only time I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going with Taylor. You're going with Progate. But I love, yeah. I love Regis. But it, I'm look, look I mean, I, I got, uh, my guy's going to win. But Josh Taylor's a great fighter. Definitely. And, and, um, and, and, and the best two guys in the tournament are fighting each other in the finals. And that's a fan favorite thing, isn't that? That's, that's, fans that's what we want to see. We want to see the best fight the best. And the best are going to fight. October 26th, 02 Arena in, in London, the best fighting the best. I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll be there. Well, let's talk about, you talk about the best fight and the best. Let's talk Amanda about Amanda and Heather Amanda's, tonight, Amanda's, it was yeah. like, you know what it reminded me of a little bit? It was like, um, like De La Hoya and Gaddy. Mm -hmm. That kind of fight, where you had uh, uh, just a tre tremendous athlete in, in Amanda, incredible hand speed, incredible power. But what Heather showed in there in terms of heart and grit and determination and, and adjustments and, you know, she made it a fight. She made it a fight. I mean, she, Amanda justifiably has her, her belt again. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and she's the champion again. And, and Amanda is the girl that everyone talks about in the pound for pound discussions. But Heather Hardy is a bigger star in my mind coming out of this fight than she was going in. And I, I just went online and looked at my Twitter account, and everyone's making comparisons. And the comparisons are, are to Gaddy and to Ward, and people marveling at her guts yeah. and, and her, her heart. And, um, and I'm proud of both ladies. And they did an unbelievable job tonight representing not only for themselves, but for women's boxing. You know, they did an incredible job of showing people what the ladies are capable of doing if you give them the opportunity. And I've been fighting for with them for their opportunity. Right, yeah. And I actually think that tonight's going to be a big, another big stride toward getting women in general more and greater opportunities that they so they so badly deserve. You made a passionate speech. It was only six, I clipped it for IFL, so you made it was six minutes long. You actually talked for, but. In that speech, you talked about equality for women's boxing. You said they might not get equality, but give them fairness. I just want fairness. Yeah. I mean, equality's equality's not happening, but but they deserve better opportunity. They deserve fairer wage. Like you saw the room. Yeah. You saw the room in the first fight, and even the room now. The people in this arena tonight, the majority of them, you know this. They came to see Amanda and Heather, and that's no disrespect to Hayner, who's going to be a superstar, I think. Yeah. And um and and Hunter's a quality heavyweight. And, and he, you know the Kuzman fight, he, you know, wasn't super exciting, but you saw how good a boxer Michael Hunter is. But the people in that arena, most of them came to see Heather and Amanda, and both ladies delivered. You know, Amanda was what Amanda is—a pound-for-pound pound great fighter. Heather is what Heather is—a female Gaddy, a female Ward, a warrior spirit of women's boxing. I think both ladies wrapped themselves in glory tonight. You know, sometimes. There was a clear winner tonight, Amanda won the fight, but there was not a loser. There were two winners in that ring. As actually, it's funny you said that, because talking about tweets, a friend of mine tweeted me saying there was no loser in that fight in Serrano and Harley. They put a great advert on for women's uh, boxing. I think tonight was, they are going to realize a few days from now what they did to help women's boxing tonight. How far away from are we from seeing a, a whole car just full of women? If, if, I, have, if like I have my way, you're going to see it on the zone and you'll see it hopefully uh, early next year. Is that exclusive? What? Is that exclusive? I haven't said that to anybody, <laughs> but uh, John Skipper, Joe Markovsky, uh, Eddie, we're going to do that all women's card and we're going to do it on the zone. 
Oh, I, I hope we do see it because, like I say, there's a lot of other women. There are a lot of fight. other sensational women's female fighters out there. I mean, Jessica McCaskill's a great fighter. Um, uh, I have Tiara Brown, Raquel Miller. Uh, Alicia Napoleon, who's a, another world champion, is a, you know uh, has an entire package, the same kind of thing. A, a attractive, smart, well-spoken, big punching power, great athlete, like a Wonder Woman yeah. in, in the ring. Um, you know, Katie the, Taylor, the Island Katie, Taylor is, Katie Taylor is a yeah. great, great fighter. Look, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano is a female super fight. That's a super fight. Well, that's, that's that's similar to what you would have if you had Claresta and, and, and Cecilia yeah. in, in a ring. You, you're talking about, you know, on a, well, actually, if Claresta fought Cecilia and uh, Amanda fights Katie, the four best women in the world would be fighting one another, yeah. um, you know, in, in, in appropriate weight classes. I, I'd love to see that kind of thing. You know, we, we, women's boxing has not been this strong in my lifetime. This is the strongest that women's boxing has been in my lifetime, and I'm really happy when I see a Claressa stand up and take care of business with a Christina Hammer. Mm -hmm. And Katie, you know, whether you thought she won or you thought she lost, the Delphine Person fight was a brilliant fight to watch. Yep. And then you saw what happened in the ring tonight, and it was as entertaining as you could have hoped for, especially considering the fight almost ended in the first round. I was going to say, what was and your thoughts in the first round? What was my th my thoughts is maybe this is going to be a short night, but I said, you know, I said to myself, but you know what? I know, I know Heather, she's so tough. I was like, if she doesn't go down, I actually said to my, I turned around to my, to Eric B who was sitting next to me, the great, the whole great rapper, Eric B and Rakim Fame, Eric was sitting next to me and Eric said the same thing. Eric said, I have a feeling that this is gonna become a better fight, like pretty quickly. Like, uh, you know, if she weathers the storm the first three rounds, it's gonna be a, a real fight. And I thought to myself too, that if Heather got through that round and the round that followed, that we were gonna have a really fun night. And it was, it was a really <laughs> fun fight. It was I a great, that, yeah. great fight that really will be remembered, I think, remembered if, if women's boxing is gonna to continue to grow and get bigger, people are gonna look back and they're gonna remember this fight. Well, what's next for Heather then? I mean, she's, this is her first- A little bit of time off yeah. has been next for Heather. This was, a, you know, she, she had to do work really, really hard to get herself into this fight. Uh, it was a tough, tough fight. It went the distance, a little time off. And then Heather's gonna win a world title again. Yeah, I, I said to Heather, she said to me that she's got Scottish blood in her, so I think that's where she gets her, that's where she gets her toughness there, from. There so you go. As always, Lou. Hey, I love the Scots. Yeah, thank you very much. As always. Except like the October 26th, I'm not going to love the Scots so like much. Until after, after the fight. There we go. Thank you very much, Lou. Thank you. Close the show. He did it in emphatic style. Delivery, it's Paul.